Welcome to Davos. I'm here for the World Economic Forum 2017 in what is a momentous week in global politics. British Prime Minister Theresa May has outlined her terms for a hard Brexit uh, with a very clear anti-immigration position. Donald Trump will be inaugurated as the President of the United States of America and the Chinese President has been here in Davos outlining a pro-globalization position. I've been catching up with the university leaders who are here in Davos to get their thoughts. Universities are the only place where you can take a long-term view to gather evidence to explore the truth and nature in many fields, whether it's humanities and social sciences or whether it's uh, natural sciences and medicine and engineering. And so the universities have a unique role to play. At Davos, we talk about the fourth industrial revolution all the ingredients of the fourth industrial revolution, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data, cybersecurity, Internet of Things, many of those ingredients were pioneered at universities. I am a fundamental believer that science and education must be an open system. All borders, all frontiers we put up will render the system less efficient. And in this sense, I'm hoping that we will find a solution even in this difficult time so that the UK universities remain integrated in the scientific network in Europe. Globalization or internationalization is going to be a key role because uh, the emerging countries, uh, right now they are not as international for historical reason, but they're going to come over. If President Xi is correct, then the whole world will be more international and the playing field will be more level and it's for everybody's benefit. So I think it's a, it's a great time. There's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, but you know, university has a longer time scale. So, you know, you, you, you know, these people come and go, university will be there for a long time. Educational Institute um, involved with the future leaders of the world. So we will keep on emphasizing the importance of globalization, importance of getting connected with the other people all around the world, and then do collaborative work for research and the education for the betterment of a society globally. We are going to survive this phase because basic education and research which is based on facts and higher learning is here to stay and we just have to work hard at it. The most important uh, things for university to contribute to the society is to foster uh, young people to cope with you know, this hectic and changing society. And uh, I'm very confident that uh, if uh, my university will be able to show that uh, we are producing these able uh, people to cope with, you know, the changing circumstance. So we've heard from university leaders right across the world. And one thing that's become absolutely clear is that universities must remain bastions of global talent free movement of people, free movement of talent, both students and academics are essential to the sustainability of world-class universities and changes to policy will affect um, the global hierarchies and the balance of power in global higher education. We've also heard of course that universities are many centuries years old, they will remain bastions of truth and evidence-based policy and will outlast short-term political tumult and remain focused on seeking after truth. So that's all from us at Davos.